Hi, welcome everyone. This is a lecture four of a module structural system, subject bend and seismic analysis. So, uh, the outline of module on structural system. What we have, what today I will discuss about the lecture is uh, symmetry and asymmetry. Asymmetry in a building form. So, what are the symmetry and asymmetry? are found in a building plan and uh, how they affect the seismic performance of the building so and the second is irregularities in building forms so what are the irregularities that are generally found in building plans and uh, that has to be avoided while designing for a structure or a building or for a planning for a building as a seismic point of view so symmetry and asymmetry in a building form is to be defined by here two terms one is center of mass and another one is a center of gravity that has to be discussed in a next slide what are the irregularities that has to be avoided while designing for a structure is uh, torsional irregularities re-entrant corner out of plane offset diaphragm discontinuity and the soft story and weak story so what is the symmetry and asymmetry in a building form the term symmetry denotes a geometrical properties of the plan plane configuration whereas the structural symmetry means when the center of mass and center of rigidity or a center of stiffness are located at the same point if the center of mass of building and center of stiffness of building are located at same point then it is called symmetrical building form and Asymmetrical building configuration or a structural system when the center of mass and rigidity will not locate at same points and thus it will create eccentricity between them and that is due to that eccentricity it will produce torsion and stress concentration on the buildings. So I, I already discussed that center of uh, that uh, symmetry and symmetry building in a building form is to be defined by center of mass so here center of mass is center of mass is a point where the entire mass of a building of a floor uh, where the entire mass of the floor is to be act or is to be considered is considered to be act entire mass of the floor is considered to be act at that point so it is called center of mass and center of rigidity is when uh, a point where the entire stiffness of building is to be act so these are the two, two terms center of mass and center of rigidity symmetry and asymmetry in building form so here is two pictorial view of symmet uh, what is the symmetrical building and uh, asymmetrical buildings so here you can see that uh, this floor plan the center of mass is acted at a center of that uh, floor and obviously center of rigidity is also acting at a point at here so center of mass and center of rigidity is lying at a same point so it is a symmetrical building form in another picture you can see that uh, here are four walls has to be constructed wall a b and c and d and these all four walls having a different different stiffness which is k1 k2 k3 and k4 so due to their different stiffnesses that uh, center of stiffness or center of rigidity will shift toward the this portion and that is this is called center of rigidity because as you can see here the wall c is having stiffness k3 and wall d is having stiffness k4 so k3 will be greater than k4 because of the wall c is having a different or more cross-sectional area and length in compared to wall d and uh, similarly wall a is having a k1 is greater than the k2 because wall a is having more cross-sectional area in length in compared to wall b so if k1 is greater than k2 and k3 is greater than k4 then the center of rigidity will lie in this portion and this will create a eccentricity between x and y axis from the center of mass and this is called a symmetrical building form so how a symmetrical building form affect the seismic performance of the building so if so in this picture it is clear that uh, here is the center of rigidity and center of mass if uh, that uh, wall y2 and y1 so ky2 is greater than ky1 similarly 
that uh, wall x1 stiffness is greater than wall x2 stiffness so that the center of rigidity will shift into this portion and uh, when this building is subjected to a lateral force which is in the this direction so it will create a moment at this point and then building try to trying to tend to rotate in this direction so it will create a torsion in this building what are the irregularities that has to be found so that has to be avoided so irregularities means the building configuration has been described as a regular or either irregular so it is defined in terms of size and shape of the building arrangement of different structural element and its masses so how the irregularities in building form affects structural irregularities are important factor which decrease the seismic performance of the structure that's why i told you before that uh, these some irregularity that has to be avoided by really for a structure or a building uh, as a seismic point of view so these irregularity are decreases the seismic performance of the structure building which have structural irregularity may experience different drift of adjacent story or excessive torsion etc different drifts of adjacent story means if um, the performance of the one story to the above or below story is it different so the resistance of the um, below and above story are different in terms of seismic so this is called different drift of adjacent stories torsional irregularity so i'm the, uh, the first one is a torsional irregularity that i already discussed when the center of mass and center of rigidity will not at, lie at the same point then then when lateral force is acting in this direction then it will uh, that center of mass and center of rigidity it will create a eccentricity in the x direction because wall x1 and wall x2 having the same stiffness which is beta k beta k but uh, the wall y1 and y2 having a different stiffness which is k and alpha k so wall y2 is having a stiffness alpha times of wall y1 stiffness so here that y2 is having a more stiff mo, wall y2 is have more stiff in compared to wall y1 so this is a stiff side this is a stiff side and this is a flexible side so the center of rigidity will shift towards the wall y2 and here eccentricity will be created which is ex but in the y direction if we are talking in the y direction then wall x1 and wall x2 are having the same stiffness so here it is uh, so the eccentricity in a y direction is zero so when a lateral force is acting in the direction of uh, y direction then this is then this force is multiplied by this eccentricity and it will create a moment or torque at in this building so this is called torsional irregularity reentrant corner so reentrant corner means if the building shape is in the l shape such type of shape are found then this corner has called reentrant corner and when this building is sub such type of building is subjected to earthquake force then the failure of a building can occur about this corner because this corner will fail first so such type of reentrant corner irregularity should be avoided out of plane offset out of plane offset means when the discontinuity in lateral load resisting path such as out of plane offset of a vertical element so this is clear from this picture uh, in the first story that shear wall has to be constructed at point here and in the second uh, uh, about the first story the shear wall is constructed at here so the when the when this building is subjected to seismic force then the load carrying capacity of uh, or load resisting capacity of this story is different from the above storage so it is called out of plane offset that uh, vertical members are not lie in a plane so here in another picture it is clear from this picture that uh, when a earthquake force is acting on this building then the load carrying capacity of this uh, uh, first uh, this first story and the load carrying carrying capacity of second story are different and it is called out of plane offset irregularity so, so such type of buildings has to be avoided diaphragm discontinuity diaphragm discontinuity means if the variation 
in stiffness including those having a cut out or open areas greater than 50% of the gross enclosed diaphragm area or change in effective diaphragm stiffness of more than 50% of one story to next story so this has to be clear from this picture that uh, if this is a ground floor and this is uh, having a rigid diaphragm action but in the above story so here are the flexible diaphragm in the second story it is a flexible diaphragm or in a ground floor this has to be this is to be in rigid diaphragm and this is in flexible diaphragm so both are a different diaphragms and in another one when the open area of this building is greater than 50 percent of the total area of this building then it is called diaphragm discontinuity irregularity so that has to be avoided soft story and weak story irregularity a soft and a weak story is created when the lateral stiffness or the strength of story is markedly more flexible than the floor above and below so if the above floor and below floor are flexible in compared with that floor so it is called soft or weak story irregularities so, so this is often occurs at the ground level when it is left for the open for parking areas and shop and for other regions so when the building then the ground floor is open for a parking or a shop then up the this type of buildings are called soft story and a big story so it is clear from this picture that uh, in this figure you can see that uh, so this red mark is show, this pink red or pink mark is showing that uh, it's a ground floor story and it is a weak because of that open area in compared to the above storage which are strong in compared to this so such type of irregularities are soft story or weak story so when an earthquake force comes and hit the building then these columns are fell and the whole structure is to be fell because of weak story below the this story this floor so how such type of uh, soft story can be eliminated so we can provide a shear wall in the ground floor region and we can provide uh, bracings and dampers also and one more thing is steel framing we can provide so that these big story can be eliminated so here is the picture of um, a failure of building due to an earthquake and here you can see the, these are the big story columns and below this floor level the the whole building is situated on these columns and the open area is left for the parking so such type of buildings or building plans has to be avoided or neglected so what are the forms that has to be adopted for uh, while dealing for a uh, seismic resistance of a structure so if we are adopting a rectangular section then it's good to have good to uh, good to have that uh, such type of structure if it is a square then it is better if it is a circular then best but if such type of structure has been preferred then it is bad because the length of this building is much greater than the width of this building so the aspect ratio of this building is greater than is maybe greater than 4 and as we already discussed so that uh, aspect ratio of any building plan should be less than or equal to 4 so such type of building has to be avoided and obviously this one T section and uh, L section this is due to re-entrant corner so that has to be avoided this is a worst case so here are some references and thank you for watching this.